Before I send this email to these people, I may wish to attach a flag. For example, if I click on the Message tab in the ribbon and go to the Tags group, I've got a button called Follow Up. And in the Follow Up button, I've got a number of options, but I'd like to create a custom follow up. I'd like to flag the recipient, and I'll take out Follow Up and put my own message. If you're interested, please contact Kathy before the end of the week. And I'd like this to pop up on their machine as of tomorrow at 9am. And OK. So when I send this email to these people, the email will sit in their inbox. But tomorrow at 9 o'clock, as indicated up here, they'll receive a message saying, if you're interested, please contact Kathy before the end of the week. A lot of people use flags for things like, please remember to have your timesheets in today before 4 o'clock. Anything that reminds the person is a follow-up. Also, when I send this email, I might decide on the level of importance, whether this email is of high importance or of low importance. I could also go into the Tags dialog box launcher and bring up the message options. And I could set the importance here as well to high, low or normal. I could also set the sensitivity to confidential, private or personal. And I'll send it to confidential. If I want to change my importance and sensitivity levels by default from normal and normal, then I'll close this option here. I'll go to File in the ribbon and I'll click Options. What I can do is click Mail on the left hand side and as I scroll down I can set my default sensitivity and importance levels here. So by default I might set my importance level to high and my sensitivity level to confidential. And I'll click OK. All messages from now on will have an importance level of high by default and a confidential sensitivity level by default. And I'll click OK. The other option worth mentioning is the zoom control. Sometimes when you receive an email or construct an email, it can be very small and so you may wish to zoom. If I click the zoom button, I can zoom into a 200%, which makes things a lot easier to see. Or I could change the zoom back to 100% and OK. If you're struggling to read an email due to the magnification, consider using the zoom button. But ultimately, I've addressed this email, I've given it a subject, I've t attached some files, and I would type a message. And now I'm ready to send my message. So I'll just click the send button. And that message will then go. Because I'm only practicing and I don't want to send this message to all these people, I'll just hit the X to close it without sending. And no.